Oh, National Lottery Authority and Penny for most so any private sector uh, would protect you know, so I'm for every career, I'm also trained here at Domun Tem Achie Papa, if you shall be a dear son in the Afina May Adrum and Carnage, say Zedia, a Jubro, Abu Biakuma, a Tony Gem, now Openi Pa, Eddie, Emma, Enneli, a Jack, Kofi, or say Ameao, and a central for Eddie and Como, Eddie Fasa, and same way at home. Of this impasse, the battle between the private sector operators or what is commonly known as banker to banker in this country. For so many years, at least I'm proud to say, under the administration, all these years of this impasse, the battle between the private sector operators or what is commonly known as banker to banker in this country. For so many years, at least I'm proud to say, under the administration of His Excellency, the President, Nana Dodakwa Kufuado, today we are proud to say that conflict, that fight that has ensued for the past 30 years has come to an end. And when I say your beloved country is free forever, I mean in terms of revenue that the country is about to get some revenue that from their own assessment is very, very big. So we are yet to factor that into our 2020 budget. Last year we were thinking that they would come on board so that we can regulate and regularize the lottery business. Because we had one part which was documented, the LMCs, but the banker side was not documented. So we cannot even tell you the total number of people, Ghanaians, who are employed in that industry. But from today, we shall be able to sell, tell Ghanaians how many people are gainfully employed in that industry and what kind of revenue that we are getting for the nation. So we can be able to put those figures out, the data out, for you to assess that the lotto industry is a big one. The fact that whatever happened, especially when the private lotto operators association threatened demonstration, it had security implication and were interested. The second aspect of the loss of revenue that all regulated private lotto operators was not helping the government. The government was losing so much revenue. And for us at the police service, it, we were very interested because it's the same revenue that the government will use to support development um, activities in the country. We had two main things in mind. So at the end of the day, we started the mediations. We had a series of meetings. And today, we are here. I am so grateful to NLA, Private Lotto Operators Association, for giving the CID and, of course, the Ghana Police Service the opportunity to be part of this long, 30 years long standing impasse between the two organizations. It is Ghana that has won the day today. That Ghanaians have been able to sit together to agree on the way forward to run lottery for this country to benefit. We are happy most especially because it was an impasse which was not going away. From government to government, they will make attempts and nothing succeeds. We are grateful to God that under his own directions and through the work of the Director General of um, NLA and our leadership at the Ghana Lotto Operators Association, they have both shepherded us to this conclusion. If there is any achievement to celebrate today, it is to these people who have made it possible for today to become a reality. I walk away with the happiness that at least there will be no fights between NLA and the private sector operators for the next 30 years.